Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Star. We have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Empress. Wow, so out of four cards, two of them are, um, yeah, that's what I was feeling is the next card. Two of them are uh, major cards. Three of them, look, out of five cards, three of them are. I feel that I feel that you may have lost hope with something. And I feel like you, you might be having trouble reaching out for something, reaching towards someone, because it's like the Knight of Cups is trying to reach his cup out to the Empress. And I just feel like it's almost like I feel like your your old ways of looking at things or feeling things is it needs to change. There's something because this tower card come up, so I feel like something has to be torn down. I I just see because I I feel like the energy that I'm feeling while I'm reading the the cards is the energy that's in the cards or that I'm feeling for you and I feel like confused I feel like I can't quite get there I can't quite like I have a lot of thoughts going on and I feel like it's it's that confusion within yourself or that frustration within yourself and I almost feel like it's you're holding yourself back and you're having trouble reaching out. You're having trouble finding your direction. You're having trouble finding, okay, how do I grow? How do I level up? How do I change things? How do I get into this Empress mode and get into the star energy and this Ten of Pentacles energy? And how do I do that? I feel that there's confusion. But I also feel that what you need to look at is this tower here and I feel like it's getting to work on this tower and here look at this another major card the judgment and walking away I feel like that's kind of come out I feel the five of swords has come out a lot lately I feel that there are quite a few of you that need to kind of leave things behind or walk away from things or just let people be the way that they want to be and choosing yourself and moving into your your path, your energy, your direction. <coughs> I feel that this tower is up to you. I feel that you need to stir things up. You need to tear things down. You need to create, you need to rebuild. You're the one who has to, oh darn, I meant to fix my nails, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, they're kind of a mess. I meant to fix them before I did a reading. Um, but you need, you need to take the steps to create this tower. I don't feel that this, the tower, some of the energy may be happening for you, but I feel like it's happening for you so that you can work on this and embrace this and, and realize, hey, I've got to create this tower. I've got to have this. I've got to make some choices for myself. Sometimes we like to wait too long. We like to wait for other people to make decisions or choices. And sometimes we just have to step up to the plate and we have to make those choices. We have the King of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles, turning your back on the past um, and past actions and the way you used to do things before because the way you were doing things before wasn't working for you 
or it went to a certain stage and then it's not working anymore. New page of cups, I love it. And the two of wands, and then let's get an overall energy. Right, time to take action, time to make things happen, time to do things. And I felt one more card, and that is why, because we have the eight of cups. So, this is totally up to you to embrace this tower energy, to work on this tower energy, to work on walking away from what does not serve you, turning your back on what was, on things that were in the past, and realizing, okay, I've gone as far as I can go. I can't go any further. I need to make some changes could be with relationships, it could be with with anything, with everything, right? Changing everything. And time to move forward, but also realizing that it's a slow progress. It's slow and steady wins the race. It's not making all of a sudden abrupt changes. And sometimes those things can can work, but then sometimes if they're not really settled in, then it's not going to be for the long term. But I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, it's about embracing that it's a process that's sort of one step at a time. But it all starts with you. And this, this is what I'm drawn to here, is that tower. Also, we have the Knight of Wands, which is getting ready to take actions to make the changes and seeing what needs to be done and walking away from what needs to be walked away from. New emotions, new feelings, getting excited. Getting excited because, hey, out with the old and in with the new. And realizing that you want these changes and you're going to make them happen. Not feeling stuck anymore. All right, so that, look at that, number 77 came out. So spirituality, having that, I feel like it's having that faith and belief in yourself and listening to those signs that are around you and the energies that are pushing you and motivating you. And it could just be those things that come up that, you know, your eye is drawn to different things or your energy is drawn to different things or you're trying to, you're feeling like there's something that needs to change, but then just going with what you feel drawn to and not counting things out. And knowing, I feel like it also has to do with that inner voice within yourself. Let's get a Star Dragons. Let's pick these two. We have trust, love, and friendship. I feel like trust, you have to trust yourself, which I've said before is that you have to trust yourself that you are on your path and that even if you have these tower moments that you're going to be okay, that you're safe, that it's safe for these changes, that it's safe to embrace change, it's safe to let go of the things that don't work for you, that also we have grief accepting loss and accepting those things that maybe didn't work out or didn't turn out for you the way you thought they were going to but yet you're still pushing forward like that like I said before expired you learned what you could from it and instead of keeping yourself in that energy that you want to move forward let's grab a animal oracle card Sandpiper spirit, be playful. I feel that with all of this that's going on, especially with the tower energy and this message that's trying to come through and this work that you're doing and the things that you're walking away from, that it's important for you to have that lighter energy around you. That it's important for you to have that love and those friendships and those people that are supportive, that you spend that time recharging yourself, doing those things that make you happy. Not those things that help you to block everything out, 
but those like because you don't want to face them but sort of rewarding yourself with those things that you enjoy doing like if you like to go to the beach take a walk on the beach that that's something where you're getting exercise and you're helping yourself mentally and physically that you're just freeing yourself from energies to clear your mind not I'm not saying not being on social media for four hours because you don't want to deal with things um, I feel like that being playful is doing what it is that you enjoy that brings you that excitement and then embracing that energy remembering that energy feeling that energy and using that to motivate you to move forward and to get back to work on this once you make that shift and you make that change then this becomes easier that this kind of moves away and you start this new adventure that you're on but it's important not to forget those light-hearted energies or moments because those are something that can help to keep you motivated all right let's grab a fortune reading card we have moon pay attention to your intuition see that's so funny because i was saying that that i felt like it was the high priestess and listening to that intuition and that's what i was saying earlier at this time and move ahead confidently so this card confirms that energy that i was feeling is that listening to those signs that you have within yourself that keep going back to something or trying to push you forward from something and to listen to those and to not ignore those and stop digging your heels in and fighting against yourself obviously i'm not telling you what you have to do this is something that you you have to make a choice for yourself but definitely the energy and the reading is out there all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i'll see you next time